All right, so you've decided to stick it out. You're gonna grow out that beard a little longer, see what it looks like. Today we're gonna to talk about the hardest part. It's up here. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we talk about all things bearded. Thank you for joining me. We've been doing a beginner series for guys who are growing out their beards for the first time. We did uh, several updates throughout No Shave November. Uh, and now I hope I've convinced a few of you to keep it growing. And the hardest thing to deal with is not the itching. It is not um, other things that you might think of. Um, it's up here. It's the mind games that play with you, uh, play with your head, because now you've kind of committed, right? You're going to commit a little bit longer. You can't just blame it on no shave November kind of thing. You can get away with that pretty easily for a month. And then the next month it gets tough because usually that's, uh, you know, you've got Christmas time, seeing people that you haven't seen in a long time, hearing the comments, whether they, uh, they're well-meaning com comments or not well-meaning comments, you still have to deal with them. Uh, you're looking different than the way you normally look. Uh, I'm a teacher, so when I grew mine out in No Shave November, you know, I had the students along with me and it was just fine, right? They saw me every day. The problem was you go home for Christmas and you see people you haven't seen since you started growing the beard and you have to deal with that like constantly, uh, at least until you, you might have to deal with it up, up to a year or more. Every time you see somebody you haven't seen before, you have to deal with it. Uh, so that can be kind of mind games. And then your face looks different, right? You've got, uh, you know, it starts to get some volume and here you think, oh, does that give me, the, the, my, does my face look fat? Uh, oh, I've got these, this patch and I'm just real insecure about that patch. Nobody else is paying attention to the patch on your beard. All they notice is you've got, you're growing a beard or you're not growing a beard. Nobody's going over it with a fine tooth comb and a magnifying glass. All right. So you have to try to get away from that as best you can. And, you know, I'm speaking from experience. Those kind of things bother me. They bothered me when I grew it out. I still hear comments about my beard, but everybody at this point, after three years, kind of knows that I, I have a beard. Uh, you know, I have to deal with the white stripe down the middle. That is not dyed, by the way. That is all natural of 44 years of hard living uh, or 23 years of high school teaching, uh, one or the other. Um, so how do you deal with it? Uh, it's not easy. <laughs> Sometimes, some days it's easy, you know, it's just, an, it's not even a thing. And then there's days where you get aggravated or other things in life you can't control. I mean, this is 2020. There's so many things going on in life that you can't control. This is one thing you can. So a lot of times you, to take control of that, you may want to do something drastic, like shave your beard. Like I'm tired of this, I'm shaving it. I can control it. I'm tired of the comments. I'm tired of the itching. Uh, all of that. I'm going to encourage you to stick it out uh, at least three months, probably more than that. Most guys, have, if, if they start growing out for a long period of time, they end up kind of growing really long and then they uh, they settle back into somewhere between a three to six months worth of growth. Uh, I mean, that's probably what I've got here is maybe six six months at this point is what that lo looks like maybe more kind of it kind of depends on how fast the growth is and getting you know if you're wanting hairs up here to be this long it's going to take longer than the ones that start down here to get that long so it takes a while to figure that out and then it takes a while after that just to get what style you want figure out what you like so a couple things you can be doing now uh, is taking pictures along the way right so take pictures of yourself if you want to try to head it off at the past be brave and post them on social media on your social media on your facebook and uh, instagram pages and that kind of stuff so people who haven't seen you in a while that you may run across they can at least kind of see it in pictures you can deal with the comments uh that way but you know, sometimes people behind keyboards can be more brutal than people who see you in person but uh, definitely take pictures for yourself uh, you can go back and reflect uh, every month if you want. Um, you can get some advice from me. Uh, I've got a new email address. You can send me a picture there. I can I can give you some uh, style advice or uh, beard shapes or where to trim and all that stuff. And we're going to be talking about all those things in the future. But 
I really want you to uh, just kind of pre mentally prepare yourself as that's it's not something that you may think about, but it's something that you start dealing with. Once you get past the no shave November kind of safety zone of that, then you have to start dealing with things. And uh, you've got patches. If you've got patches, if you've got hair above the patch, more than likely it will fill in. Uh, it just takes some time and length. Uh, and, and then also if you feel like you've got chubby cheeks here, that's because you don't have the hair down here yet. So as it grows longer, it elongates your face. But there's going to be a time where your volume's right up here. And you, it may think, you, you may think it makes your face look fat. And it just looks different. Um, you're going to be your own worst critic every single time. So I want to encourage you first of all be encouraged right keep doing what you're doing um, use good products um, your beard oil those kind of things don't do anything drastic um, most of the time you want to consider anything major changes uh, over several days or weeks before you do that okay so hang in there with me so the next next week we might talk about doing that first kind of maintenance trim maybe you're getting to the point where you're like this is just too much i need to do some stuff here and there so we're going to talk about your maintenance trim how often you should do it where you should be trimming um, those kind of things so be looking for that over in the next week week and a half something like that so hang in there guys be encouraged don't let them the mind game throw you off your beard game all right and we'll see you soon thanks guys